Hi guys, my name is Vladimir, I'm an organist, and this is my vlog, engine number 4. Still going. Well, I'm sorry that there haven't been any new enters for some time. If you've seen my last NT, you probably got an idea that I was in quite a pickle. And while I wouldn't say that everything is happily resolved now, at least I got some time and energy to make this enter, so I guess it's not that bad. Anyway, today I would like to talk about music lessons, which is something that I'm trying to get back into, now that we can meet indoors again here and also what I was doing um, a lot before lockdown. But I'm once again faced with this kind of problem, especially with new students, prospective students, that um, while they may have a lot of enthusiasm uh, for the idea in the beginning, once uh, they understand uh, the kind of commitment it's required and how you need to manage your expectations for your progress, they tend to quickly lose heart. And I think that is further exacerbated by all these new online apps and online courses pinging up during lockdown, promising you to teach you to quickly learn music, to play any songs you like, to make your own music, play from here and so on. So, what do you think uh, is my opinion on all this? Well, I think you could judge from the fact that music is not taught in this kind of big classrooms that uh, the students uh, of physics or law or economics or business get. And um, well, I guess this is because music just draws on so many different attributes, um, characteristics, uh, abilities uh, that uh, I don't think it's really possible to have a one-size-fits-all course uh, that will develop one's musical ability, you know. I mean, we all have our own strengths and weaknesses and uh, you need someone experienced to be able to work with that, to guide you on any pitfalls you might have and if you do get stuck to get you out. It's not like having a psychologist or a personal trainer, you know, um, someone who can guide uh, uh, you and without his oversight you might as well get hurt. And well, while I do not discount uh, all these online tools completely, you still must understand that uh, you get uh, a very specific set of knowledge there. So it's not unlike getting a book or two while committing to personal lessons with the teacher is like opening a whole new library for yourself. And also with this kind of tools that promise quick results with little input, there's only so much that you can get. It's not unlike learning some palette tricks that might amuse your friends uh, once or twice at parties, <laughs> but then after a time it gets old, and that's all you get for it. But uh, you know, exploring and developing uh, musical ability, that's a whole different level. That's a potential gold mine that you can discover, but something that you could have overlooked if you didn't have someone with an experienced eye to guide you. So. If you, that's something you'd like to explore, I'm available. And otherwise, um, if you have any thoughts, especially if uh, you've been learning music yourself or teaching music, please uh, leave them in the comments section down below. If you liked what I was talking about, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. And otherwise, I'm looking forward to speak to you again in my next entry.